Hello. Um, a little while ago, I showed this motorcycle starter relay. Um, it's got 100 amp main contacts and a 12 volt DC coil. Uh, in fact, let's open it up and have a look inside. So in here, it looks like this. So there's the coil connected to these two uh, spade terminals. And there's the thick braid connected to one of these terminal posts via this U-shaped copper thing. I think the original photograph had two braids, hence the U-shape. Uh, this only has one. And there's the main contact. Now, a couple of people in the comments section pointed out that this is a starter relay and therefore it's only intended to be energized for short periods of time. And that it's possible that if I energize this for an hour or two, which is what I intend, that the coil will, well, I presume overheat would be the, uh, the main problem. So what I want to do today is, well, I'm going to put 12 volts on this and see how hot this gets but also look at a possible, a possible mitigation strategy for uh, backing the current off in this relay. Uh, not initially, so initially it'll have enough current to pull the relay in, but then it'll back the current off so that um, the holding force, which will be smaller of course, because the metal is nearer the electromagnet, um, will be at a lower current and therefore this thing won't get as hot. But let's stick 12 volts on it, uh, or perhaps a bit less, and just see how warm it gets. So I found suitable cables. Uh, let's plug in a couple of spade terminals. Those go to these banana plugs. So let's fit a couple of adapters. And then that goes to the output of my power supply, as does that. Okay, let's get this powered up and stick, well, let's say 10 volts initially, uh, see if it'll pull in. Right, that's got 10 volts on the output. Let's make sure this pulls in. Yeah, it does. Actually, it'd be interesting to see at what voltage this doesn't pull in. So let's try 8 volts. Okay, 8 volts. Yeah, it still pulls in at 8 volts. Quite, uh, it feels quite solid. Okay, let's try 6 volts. And no, that doesn't pull in, but will it hold? Yes, it will. So it won't pull in, but if I press it in with my finger, then it does hold at six volts. So what you really want is, uh, let's look at voltage, a high voltage initially to pull the relay in and then back it off to something lower where it'll just hold like that. And that holding force is quite strong because so if I try to bend this away you can see that the metal slab is not lifting off the electromagnet. So that's got a very firm holding force. There, I've done it now. Even if it hasn't got enough uh, electromagnetic force to initially pull it in. Right, how warm is it getting? So, thermal imaging camera. Uh, oh, yes, there is some heat there. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Uh, 43 degrees is the hottest point. Yeah, so if I have 12 volts in this, um, that's going to get a lot hotter. Let's do some experiments. Okay, uh, 7.99 or 8 volts and it's at 51 degrees and possibly getting warmer uh, 10 volts and it's now at 60 degrees and getting warmer 62 63 okay let's 64 let's shove it up to 12 volts and now at 12 volts oh yeah now that's getting um, very warm and I would probably agree with those commenters who said uh, it's probably not intended for continuous use at 12 volts. Uh, 84 degrees 
that is going to go up to 90 degrees, isn't it? Okay, that's been a minute or two. And yes, that has effectively hit 100 degrees. There we are, 100. <laughs> so that's quite hot, isn't it? And if you put the cover on this thing, then heat's going to build up inside here. So I do think a mitigation strategy um, to pre present an initial high current but then back it off probably is necessary for this. I mean, it hasn't melted yet, but the, you can see the former is made of plastic. Let's just check that temperature again. Yeah, it's now up to 105 degrees C. Quite warm. So here's my idea. Put a light bulb in series with the coil because a light bulb has an interesting property in that it's a positive temperature coefficient resistor. Um, its cold resistance is much lower than its warm resistance. So this is my old friend, the 21 watt, uh, 12 volt vehicle brake light bulb. So really what we want to do is find out what's the resistance of this coil and what's the resistance of this light bulb. Because I'd quite like, since we saw that the relay will hold in perfectly well at six volts, I'd quite like to have about the same resistance. Now that's of course going to be the hot resistance, but let's just measure the resistance of these two things to start with. So I'm measuring the resistance of the coil, the relay, at 33.6 ohms, but I've just put a fan on it to cool it down because it had got quite warm, so I'll let that cool down. Okay, so when this relay is cold, its coil resistance is 30 ohms. And the resistance of this 21 watt uh, brake light bulb is measuring at half an ohm. So 30 ohms for the relay coil, half an ohm for this brake light bulb. Now, of course, that's the cold resistance. For the hot resistance, we can actually calculate it. So I've got uh, I equals W over V. That should probably be P for power. So I equals power over volts. That's because V times I equals watts. Uh, we know that R equals V over I from Ohm's law. So I've come up with R equals V squared over power. Um, so a 21 watt bulb, V squared is 12 squared, so that's 144, is that over 21, which is 6.85 ohms. And a 5 watt bulb uh, is 144 over 5, which is 28.8 ohms. Well, that's much nearer the 30 ohms of this relay. So what I really want is a 5 watt bulb. Right, one of these bulb kits from, I think this was B&M or home bargains or something like that. Uh, here's a 5 watt bulb. So from the calculation, the uh, warm resistance, the hot resistance is 30 ohms. Let's measure the cold resistance. Right, the cold resistance is, let's put that on there and that on there. And that is 3 ohms. Okay, so 3 ohms as a proportion of 30 ohms is only 10%. So it shouldn't affect the pull-in power of this relay too much. But when this gets hot, it'll go to 30 ohms. And that means that we've got a roughly equal uh, resistance split. 30 ohms for the relay, 30 ohms for the bulb. So they should each get uh, 6 volts from the 12 volts. Now, of course, I'm putting this on lithium iron phosphate which could start at 14 volts, but that would still only be seven volts for each uh, device. Now I'm gonna solder some wires to this bulb, um, put it in series with this relay, and then check that it pulls in reliably at uh, 12 volts, and that that voltage then uh, reduces to six volts or thereabouts when the bulb has uh, warmed up. Okay, so I have soldered um, a cable to the bulb to go to the relay. Got a banana plug there. Uh, so that's going to be negative, isn't it? Let's bring that around 
to there. Positive of my 12 volts goes to the relay. Now the question is, does the relay with bulb uh, pull in at 12 volts and then settle back to a uh, lower voltage? Well, let's just see if it pulls in first. Uh, so 12 volts, switch it on. And yeah, it pulls in and you can see it takes quite a long time for the bulb to come on. So it should have almost the full 12 volts. Uh, I think it was 10% goes into the bulb when it's cold, wasn't it? So it'll get 10.8 um, or something like that. And then when the bulb warms up, it should be a 50-50 split of voltage. But certainly that pulls in perfectly adequately. And now is it holding in? Yeah, it seems to be holding in pretty well. I can... Oh, it seems to be getting a bit more than the 6 volts because it pulls back in with the bulb next to it. The question now is, uh, well, let's look at the voltage across the relay. And it is... Uh, oh, why am I not getting volts? Because I'm on AC. Yeah, it's annoying. You have to press the function button to get to DC volts. Okay, it's a little bit more than half, but that's okay. Uh, 7.1 volts on the relay. Now let's check with the thermal imaging camera. And that's a much more reasonable uh, 50 degrees C. That's going to settle at, I think, than the 100 degrees Celsius. Um, when it was getting 12 volts. I think it could probably handle 50 degrees C. I'll just leave it on for a bit and see how hot it does get. And it's now at 55 degrees C, but it's going up now. Oh, why does that suddenly jump to 57? I think I put my hand in front of it. No, no, it is 57 where the hottest part of the image is. But it doesn't seem to be getting any hotter than that. That's probably okay. And uh, yeah, so I think that's probably it. That's probably the solution to uh, one of these relays, which is only intended to be turned on for a few seconds. Uh, when left on for any length of time gets up to 100 degrees. Now it's only getting up to sort of 60 degrees. And uh, yeah, all it needs in series with it is a 5 watt uh, car 12 volt bulb that allows it to pull in hard and close the contacts and then it slightly releases the power inside the relay. Well, we could calculate power inside the relay, it probably releases it quite a bit. Uh, the question then is, is there enough contact um, between there? I think I bent that up slightly, so I have just bent it back down with a pair of pliers. Um, to hold this 100 amps that I'm going to be putting through the uh, relay switch contacts. But I think uh, that's the principle and that's it for this video. So cheerio.